So we're going to start with, we're going to do some Russian gate therapy, basically where we do pulses of um, contractions to help repattern the neurological connection, um, to help his quads basically be recognized a lot better by his brain. Um, and at the same time, it's going to help um, with inflammation. It's going to help um, kind of reset the tone for it. And then we're going to come back with ultrasound and we're going to ultrasound and help break up some of the scar tissue and really improve his range of motion. Um, it's one of my favorite therapies to do, especially if someone has a muscle that isn't quite firing how they want it to. Um, because it's just, it's one, it's, it's making it fire. So it's making it get re-recognized and then it's shutting it down. So it's like, it's going to tighten it up, shut it down, and he doesn't have to do anything about it. And then his mind's going to start recognizing that better. All right, so the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to set up one side of the quads. So we're really focusing on the vases, the lateral part and the medial part of the quad. So you're only going to feel this on one half of your leg, basically. The intensity on this, I don't necessarily need it to be where it's an extreme engagement. It needs to be a good engagement, but I don't want it to be painful. It's going to tighten up that quad for you. Put it to where I could barely withstand it. Yep. And I was like, man, we're killing me. <laughs> yeah, we don't, I don't need that because what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a fault. Did, did they do any pulses? Like, was it five seconds? I'm going to do five seconds one side, five seconds the other. Go back and forth because I want it to. I want your muscle to contract and then shut off. Yeah. Contract and then shut off. It was like uh, the thing they did. It would be like five to ten seconds on and fifty seconds off. Okay. I was hoping I was on the right part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hooked those leads up. I was like, was I on the inside or the outside? All right, so we're going to take it up. We'll start watching that muscle. Yeah, we'll start to get some good engagement up high. Okay? Yeah, okay. So good? Yeah. All right, I'm going to stay right there. So now we're going to go to the inside of the leg. Okay. Any pain or anything associated with it? No. Good. Still good? Yeah, good. So what you're gonna feel is you're gonna feel this come into waves. It's gonna do five <laughs> seconds on one side, five seconds on the other. There's gonna be a two second like ramp up time. Mm -hmm. So like as after this one shuts off, you're gonna feel it and all of a sudden you go to the other side. And you're just gonna feel it crank up, gonna engage shut off and engage okay. we're going to run that for 15 minutes just to help with repatterning yeah. and like i said at the same time it's engaging the quad it's going to start helping it loosen up get some blood in there yeah and then we'll run ultrasound on the whole knee okay. and basically hit all the attachments and your scar at the same time breaking up all the really really superficial scar tissue and then we'll work the actual muscles okay break it all down so good combination of therapy right here i love this stuff um, why that's going, um, I'm going to start working your other knee, uh -huh. just doing scar tissue, length of knee manipulation, that kind of stuff. Okay, cool. so, yep. All right. I'll go ahead and start with your leg up. Is that still comfortable? Yes, it's good. Okay. All right, don't ever let me go too far, okay? Yeah, I mean, everything, I mean, obviously, like, I don't have the, 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 the strength or stability that I had before the injury yet on this leg, but, I mean, it's, when I walk around, like, just basically around the house, stuff feels normal. Yeah. But this leg's inhibiting me from going down the stairs normally. You know, like, I can go down the stairs normal with this leg, and that was, like, my big, that's been my biggest challenge with this injury this fall. How, how's the ankle and everything been? Uh, like, how's your stability going down all the way through? Like, are you losing anything or having any kind of feeling or... Have you washed your gait to make sure that like your your leg's not going out to the side or anything like With that? This you... leg it goes out to the side. Okay, uh, still. When it's like, once it starts tightening up really bad, like throughout the middle of the day, end of the day, uh, this one not so much. But this one, uh, I get around pretty good. Okay. Because that'll be kind of another thing you'll have to watch, and then um, you know your adductors, how they're going to start stabilizing from side to side. Um, Would you? Uh, recommend doing my adductor adductor work with something like so that. So what I, what I recommend, like, 
So adductors are really, really, really good about stabilizing down the hole, right? Yeah. So if you look at it like a squat, they're really, really good for that. Sometimes when we have a side that wants to compensate for another side, they'll start engaging throughout the motion too much, yeah. or, and then everyday walking oh. will start engaging. So if they're really, really pulling and you start getting like hip pain or lower back pain, sometimes the adductors will pull the femur kind of at an angle up into the hip. A band around a, one of the racks or something, wrap it around your knee, yeah. pull against the band, and then let it pull you really, really open. Yeah, so let you have nice. the band on it, pull it across from the inside. Yes. Okay. Yeah, just just to kind of help stretch at the same time. Yeah. Um, and that's what seems to help a lot, because a lot of times people will be like, oh, I'm going to do a lot of adduction and then abduction and really, really focus on the outer side of the leg into the hips, but you could actually be... Um, almost strengthening that drawl issue, strengthening yeah. that impingement, like when everything raises up in the inside and pulls you up. Um, so you just wanna make sure you keep it really, really stretched. Yeah. Stretched engaged, almost like, um, you know, active stretching. That's why I like bands. Bands are yeah. phenomenal for that, so. <laughs> He's going to very, very gently just kind of work the actual scar tissue, the actual visual scar tissue. With it not being under tension, is that as painful? Uh, it's not as bad. Even if you didn't have the situation that you're in, this is not always the most comfortable thing to have done, but yeah. really kind of helps. The IT band is a band that's really, a lot of people, if you look into it, it's not really something that can be stretched, but it could be basically kind of opened up. Mm. It's not something that's a, the IT band is extremely strong and it's more designed that you want to break it up versus stretch it out. So a little bit of blade work, so to speak, really helps. All right, let's get on this ultrasound. This is gonna get warm. Okay. But what I don't want it to do, I don't want it to be painful. Okay. If it gets painful or for even like a dull achy pain, yeah. just tell me I'm gonna move out of the area quicker. Okay. Just, I'm always gonna be moving with yeah. this. Um, you're not gonna hear it. Oh. It's an internal pulse. It's not like the electro wave or the shock waves. There's a stem wave out there that's a tick, 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 tick. Uh -huh. This is quiet. This is just an internal pulse wave. Okay. Um, so it's, um, it's, I mean, it's really good for stimulating stem cell production. It's really good for healing, getting rid of inflammation and breaking stuff apart. Yeah. So it's really, really good for restrictions and stuff like that. Um, so 
I'm just gonna kinda, it's not on yet. I'm gonna just spread this stuff around. Ultrasound gel here. My goal is to just break up superficial and deep scar tissue. This goes up to about two and a half inches deep. Um, so we'll get in there pretty good. Um, yeah, that's, one thing is, I was curious about is like, you know, I don't know, I didn't know what, they never told me what kind of sutures they put in my blood, yeah. so I don't, no one's in the muscle at least. So I was like, I don't know how long those are in there until they dissolve or? They should, yeah. I mean, they should. I've had mesh in this bicep and I had sutures in this one that split the belly. Yeah. Um, so they put some sutures in it. Um, everything should. I even had an internal suture come out of this side because sometimes it'll like it'll work their way to the surface. Yeah. And I've had lots of surgery clients where all of a sudden it'll, it'll open up and a little suture will come out, an internal one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I had no idea. It's just kind of it's all different. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do really is um, just how stiff your quad is mm -hmm. on both sides. I'm gonna really kind of start focusing on that first. Okay. Um, like I said, this will get warm yeah. um, and I can always turn it down. Yeah. I've got you at, a, at the basically the highest setting uh -huh. that it's at. Um, one of the things with ultrasound, like when they, the one thing you gotta worry about is bone tissue. Yeah. Um, you're gonna feel pain way before it ever would get that hot. So. It's um, one of those things that the rest of it, it's pretty safe. As long as you know where not to put this, it's yeah. pretty safe. Um, like I said, I've worked on clients. I've had their doctors send them to me and I'll work on them a week out just to break up scar tissue and keep inflammation down. So, I mean, it's really, really good at that. Like I said, in your case, um, if you do feel anything that just doesn't feel right or anything um, with all the internal work that they've done, just yeah. let me know. Okay. Like, probably the worst area I have. I mean, it feels better than what I did. Good. Um, yeah. Because it's, it's kind of hard for me to differentiate between uh, what the pain is, if it's just scar tissue or just the range of motion being restricted, or if it's actual, like, uh, something they did, like with the sutures or whatever. Yeah. Yep. Know. Hey. <laughs> you know? But I mean, it's. This is kind of, you know, could, could do me a lot of justice in the long run, just giving me a little extra time to compete, you know, come December versus me trying to get back on stage for USA's. Granted, say I didn't got hurt. Yeah. Because, I mean, I would, I would have, of course, been like, I'd only been, like, probably mid-180s on stage, you know, high 180s. Yeah. Right now, I'm, like, going back like 209. Well, everything is starting to loosen up yeah. very nicely superficial. And so, is there a big difference between the first? Started. What's that? You know, it's a good difference from when you first Oh, yeah. Now. Yeah. You're going to notice a big difference. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited for you right now. Yeah. I'm really excited the fact that I'm putting more more pressure yeah. and it's not hurting you. Yeah. That's what I'm like. You're not, it's not getting worse. So yeah. it's good. That's good. Yeah, man. That's the thing is like, uh, with the doctors, the physical therapist, you know, yeah, using the system and all that. They don't think about stuff like this, you know what I mean? They just want to keep you in a brace and like, I don't let you do anything. It helps. Um, I mean, a lot of our clients, you know, we have different therapists that are, you know, kind of involved in different things. Yeah. And it helps. I feel like a lot of our clients get comfortable like working with me, like if you're a lifter, yeah. if you've done bodybuilding, that kind of stuff. Because like, I'm gonna look at this as like, one, what's best for you yeah. and your feedback, but also like if I was in your shoes, what would I want? Would I want to keep it, you know, some, no, I don't, I mean, I, like I said, I can't diagnose, I can't say things, but we're different. I don't, I don't treat everyone the same, yeah. you know? If you came to me and you weren't someone that has put the amount of time into your body that you have, yeah. I might have to go about this a little bit different way. This is like a myofascial release tool. I'm using it more as like, let's see where everything is kind of a little bit more built up yeah. in different areas. I mean, you're leveling out really nicely, uh -huh. which is good. 
But yeah, I'm not necessarily using this for. I'll be getting down there unless you're good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, no, it feels better. Yeah. 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 Sque squeeze the quads. Everything should start, you know, it's basically you want to open back up. You want to be able to feel back out, the yeah. muscle to feel back out. And that's. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, because before, like, you know, I'd get here was like a pain, you know what I mean? But like, as time goes on and as they let me actually start pushing things a little more range of motion wise, I'll be, you know. Yeah. Like, so, yep. It sucks. I had this like a 120, and it was like, you know, just a few steps back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>